Hi, and welcome to this short clip showing you how to construct uh, a pH curve from your data from your PAG 11.2 that you did. So hopefully you've got some uh, data in your lab book that you can use. I'm going to use the model data here so you can see it um, from the PAG 11.2 prep task on BLE. Um, so I'm just going to take you through how to make a little chart of this so that it matches one of the titration curves that you can see in the textbook. So if we go to um, two columns, it doesn't matter where you particularly enter the data, I'm going to enter the volume data first. So if I just put the numbers in, and you'll see that what Excel does is it cuts out the two decimal places. So it doesn't matter if you write in 5.00, because if it says it is 5, then that means it can still be the same mathematical number. So I'm going to put 15 in, then 20. So you can see I'm just following it down. 25, then uh, 30, then 35, 40. Now, after 45, sorry, 40, but 45. So a quick check, my values follow what's in the table, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, 40, 40, 50, that's fine. Okay, so now I can put in the pH value, so 12.32, this time it accepts it because it's not trying to do it to the large number of decimal places, so 12.32 has to stay as such, 12.39, and you'll see what I'm following, 12.28, and so on and so forth. So give me two seconds to put them in, and we'll make a chart for you. So you can see it tails off at 1.97, pretty much exactly. Right, so you click on the top left, and you just drag it across and pull it down. Go to the toolbar at the top, into insert, choose charts, and I'd say go on to scatter graph. So there's different types of charts you can see. If I hover over each one, it tells you what kind of chart that you can choose. I suggest scatter. So you choose the top left, like so, and that instantly creates a little graph. Now, if we take this whole thing, so you can see that I've right clicked on it, so it's got the little the outline with the little dots on it, I can now, not delete it, sorry, I can copy, and if I go into a Word document, I can paste it here. So I've brought a little graphic online and put it into the Word document so that we can have a think about which of these four versions it mentions or it looks like. So these are all adding um, base to acid. This was adding acid to base. So if I hover over this and click on it, left click, you can see a little plus sign comes up. So I can now put axis titles. So the axis title, if I click on that, I can call that volume of acid added in centimeters cubed. Now I want to make the centimeters cubed with the right superscript, so I just hover over that superscript, and then I just do control shift plus there we go. And my axis title here is going to be pH, and that's it. Now, my title is going to be volume of acid added centimeters cubed versus pH. And again, I hover over this and I could actually, if I wanted to, just go here and change it like that. Now, what I can do is print this out and send it to my teacher, or I could send it to myself at college and print it out at college and put it into my lab book. So this would then get you the skill for using software to produce graphs. Okay, so coming back to um, where we're at, five seconds left. Thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.